So I'm back. For, I don't know how much I can fit in this part. It will probably end up being another part after this, but in the first part, I showed you how to make the legs, the tail, the fur part for the head, the ears, and the fur part for the body. So for this part, I'm going to be showing you how to do the head and how to attach the fur part and the ears. First, you want to get a magic ring of six stitches, and then we're just going to be doing two rounds of single crochet. I'm not going to use a hook for this part. I'm not a hook a clip for this part because it's not a lot of bins and it's um, pretty easy to do this part really quick. So again it's just two rounds of single crochet and you should have six stitches at the end of each of the rounds. So one, I just hate because I have to keep doing these in parts because it's just easier to do it all in one, but my storage is just awful. Hopefully I'm getting a new phone tomorrow. I'm trying to get a 12 Pro, so hopefully I can get that. So now you should have done two rounds and you should be still at six stitches and now we're going to single increase to nine. So it's a single crochet and then the next stitch you're going to do an increase which is two bands and one stitch. This is two. And at the end of this you should have nine stitches. For the next round, it's just going to be a two single crochets in the increase to 12. So it's just a single, single increase in the third one. So two single crochets in the increase to 12. I'm trying to do this really fast because I really want to just get as much as I can into this video. The the pad the, I can't talk. The pattern will be in the description for those of you who can just read out the pattern and can do it without the video. So if you want to like, so you don't have to wait, you can just like go through the pattern. Okay, so now we're at twelve stitches. So for this round, after you increase to 12, we're going to just do a row of single crochet around, and you should still have 12 stitches at the end of this round, so just one band in each stitch. I literally do these videos in like the middle of the night, because like, I literally do like, record 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 and then i don't feel like doing it and then i'm just like i have to get it done because <laughs> i don't want to wait a long time to put out videos i want to get them out as fast as i can and i work now so it's kind of like a little harder with having a job but i'm trying to make sure i get this the poodle tutorials out Okay, so after you do this one round, for this next round, we're going to be doing a two single crochet and a decrease to nine stitches. So two single crochet and then decrease. I take the first loop, the whole loop of the first one, whole loop of the second one, put them together and decrease. And we're going to do that all the way around until we have a total of nine stitches. And then you should have a decrease on your last stitch and then decrease and then we're gonna put this aside because now we're going to do some attaching so first I usually like to do the eyes because it kind of helps get the placement in for things literally 
out of small eyes. I need to order a new eye thing. I don't know what size these eyes are, but I think they might be nine, but I'm not sure. So, just place your eyes in somewhere. Um, mm -mm. I usually like to do them like, I don't know, I guess like right here. Just somewhere like, no, I think these eyes are smaller. Those are smaller, but I need those for my elephants, so I can't use my smaller ones. <laughs> I hope this doesn't look goofy because I normally use my smaller beads. Well, not beads. Eyes. Then get your headpiece and add slip knots around it if you haven't already. I think I said I skipped two every single. Oh, I did add slip knots on there. Okay. So get your thing. Find the placement that you like. I'm going to do mine here and just pull them in so i'll be right back okay so you just pull the slip knots in where you want and then tie it in the inside i my eyes i feel like my eyes look weird because i normally use the smaller ones because they look better but this is just have to do for the tutorial because it's just gonna have to okay so i'm gonna show you how to do one ear so once you have this attached you're gonna find a place for your ear so I found a place right here. And so you're just going to go inside to the head and then find a, s go up and then go in through like a head stitch and then go through the fur, the fur part on top of your head and go through both of them. It's not in here. Where'd it go? It's a tail. Okay. And then you get the ear and you pull it in through all of it, all the way back down in here. And then you find another stitch up here. I'm gonna go through this one and then go in through a stitch through the fur part as well. So the head and then the fur part and then pull it down in and pull it in. And it'll look like this. And then you just go in the inside and you tie it off. So I'll be right back. So I'm back and I attach my ear. If your ears flop up like sometimes mine, mine do, you just go through a stitch in the head and then just pick up a stitch in um, on the ear and just slip knot it to the head and hide the slip knot. Usually that helps keep it from just flopping up everywhere and it can look normal. So this is what your head should look like and then almost forgot about the nose and put it in um if you don't have safety hazards safety noses you can um wrap bands as well so then i'm going to stuff so i'm going to be right back okay so i'm back again chill like this and now we're going to be closing up the head so we're going to be doing a single decrease back to six stitches and then I forgot just completely close it off however you do that um so yeah single first whole loop of the first one whole loop of the second one and then decrease do any of you guys watch Bunko Stray Dogs because I watched it not too long ago and I like fell in love with the show can't wait for season four Daze Daza is my favorite character. I love Daza. I'm like completely obsessed with Daza. He's just, he just, he doesn't carry the show because the show is good on its own with all the other characters, but he's just, like, without him in it, the show wouldn't be the same. So, that's just my point. Okay, so once you get down to the six stitches, I just like to slip not a band onto the last one and thread it through the remaining stitches but if you decrease it all the way down and then close that's fine too you can close the head however you feel like closing it so i'm just picking up the stitches and just threading the band through and then once i get to the last one which i'm on i just pull it tight Who's my eye came up i just pull it tight and then hide the slip line in the head so this is the poodle. Thank you for um, tuning in for, oops, for part two. 
and yeah I'm sorry this is taking me a little bit of time to get everything uploaded but <laughs> I'm talking too much <laughs> thank you for watching part